and gentlemen, he contains no yellow number five, but all the red number 40. Please welcome your master of ceremonies, David Price. for you guys. You guys are our future and you guys are going to protect all of us. Thank you so much. Oh, thank <laughs> I hope I made sense. I'm kind of jazzed up right now. I've got some rookie teams. Are there any rookie teams in the house? Rookie teams, stand up. Any rookie teams? Okay, rookies, good luck, and now you sit down. If you're a veteran team, stand up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now sit down. I had a conversation this morning with a friend of mine. We are talking about where the best teams in the country are and the best teams in the country come from right where FIRST Robotics started here in New Hampshire and the other New England states. Where are my teams from Maine? Yeah. Where are my teams from Vermont? Yeah. Where are my teams from Massachusetts? That cheer just cost you $5 in taxes. <laughs> Where are my teams from New Hampshire? Yeah! Our goal this weekend is gonna be to celebrate all of you students and your hard work. We're here to celebrate you. We're here to celebrate your creativity. We're here to celebrate your wicked smarts. We're here to celebrate your genius and we're here to celebrate your contagious cooperation and your gracious professionalism. And someone that knows enough about that to write a book on it is our first guest speaker today. This guy is our Commissioner of Education for the beautiful state of New Hampshire. Been married 30 years. <laughs> has seven kids. He is a biathlete. He is a triathlete. Let's give it up for our Commissioner of Education, the one and only Frank Edelblum. You rock. I think I might just keep coming back because he just makes me feel so good, right? You know, thank you for that warm invitation and I am so excited to be here. I hope that you guys are excited. I can't wait to see your robots get out on the field. I had a chance to go through the pits a little bit. Um, I want to thank a few folks that are here, and this would not happen without them. Uh, at the Department of Education this year, we put out a whole bunch of grants to help start up a whole bunch of new teams. Many of you teams got those grants, and though there are many teachers in our schools that are supporting teams. So if you're a teacher in a school in New Hampshire, actually if you're just a teacher and you're supporting a team, can you stand up so we can recognize you and thank you for the service that you're doing? This would also not happen without the sponsors that support so many of your teams and support FIRST. And so I specifically want to thank Fidelity, Kellogg Research, a new sponsor. Is Kellogg here? They're around, I think they're in the pits someplace. Okay, that's probably where they should be, helping out. And BAE, so give a round of applause for our sponsors.
And I also know we got a whole bunch of mentors that help these teams. And I just thank the mentors who bring their professional skills and capabilities. Many of these guys are leaving work and coming over at night and helping you with your robots. So let's give it up for our mentors as well. Okay, so I mentioned that just a few minutes ago I was wandering around in the pits. And Dave, you kind of alluded to this too. I mean, I gotta just tell you something, adults, the future looks really good with these kids, doesn't it? Like, let's give it up for these kids. They are amazing. Thank you and good luck today. First off, we have settled New Hampshire High School. I love coming to this school. I get lost in this school every time. I can't get near the volunteer lounge. I end up outside. But I love that this school is such a great show. So Salem High School, thank you so much for giving us this place of a home. I also love that we're in New Hampshire and we have BAE systems and they're building the technology that's bringing us towards the stuff that you see in Star Wars. And they're also like the biggest employer in New Hampshire. And pretty much every single volunteer here in one way or another is connected to BAE. So BAE, thank you so much for your hard work. And you can't pay for a Star Wars movie unless you get tons and tons of funding from investors. And that comes from people that work with Fidelity Investments, the other big sponsor we have here in New Hampshire. So to Fidelity, thank you for getting us closer to Star Wars. We also have uh, Joe Kellogg, and I don't know if he's here in the room uh, from Kellogg Research, but I want to lead up to something. I'm talking about BAE and Star Wars and Fidelity and Star Wars. Let's play a Star Wars clip. Yeah. Hello, Fast Robotics competition teams. We're so excited that this year, Disney and Lucasfilm have teamed with FIRST as part of the Star Wars Force for Change philanthropic initiative. Hello, FIRST teams. I'm Mark Hamill, and welcome to the 2019-2020 season. An infinite recharge forces threaten the future of First City, and together we must shield our greatest resources from dangers to protect the citizens, culture, and history of our planet. With assistance from your trusty droids, you and your crew will race to overcome obstacles and collect renewable energy cells to charge your city's shield generator and protect First City. Through the power of collaboration, you bring hope and strengthen the force that binds us all so that together we rise. Good luck and... And of course, may the force be with you. That was good. <laughs> so, that little part of the video where it's like they're describing the competition, I'm sure all of you are like, yeah, I know the competition, you don't have to describe it to me. But how cool Luke Skywalker is describing the competition. I never thought I'd hear that happen. Right. Um, we got some hard working volunteers here today. Um, over here on this side of our room, we've got these blue shirts. They're called the judges. Judges, please stand up. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Woo! You guys rock. Boom, 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 boom. Doctor, good to see you. The referees are here uh, to see your hard work. And let me say this clearly, they want to hear your story. Every team has an important story to tell. Their job is to listen to your stories and see just how well you integrated your story into your robot. Judges, I can't do your job. Thank you so much. I got some other hard working people going in the cube. Let's give it up for our referees in the striped shirts and Eric, the head referee. Yeah! The referee's job is to make sure that everybody gets a fair score in the competition, that the matches run cleanly, they do not do replays, their rulings on the field, 